Okay. Wow, got some amazing facts about Earth. Ooh. Oh, hi guys. Sorry, I was just reading about Earth. Did you know Earth is really unique among the nine planets? You didn't know that? Come on, I'll teach you some facts about Earth. Earth is unique among the nine planets that circle the sun. It is the only one that can support life. It has enough oxygen in its atmosphere and plentiful water. In fact, seen for space, Earth looks almost entirely blue. This is because 70% of its surface is underwater. Some should be, be beneath four huge oceans. Can you tell me what it is? Well, let me tell you. The Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, and the Arctic Ocean. Land makes up about 30% of Earth's surface. It, it is divided into seven land masses, varying shapes and sizes called continents. These are the largest to smallest. Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia. The shape of Earth. Photographers taken from space by astronauts in the 1960s and more recently from orbiting satellites have proven beyond doubt what humans have worked out long ago that the earth is shaped like a ball but it is not perfectly round the force of earth's rotation makes the world bulge very slightly at the equator and go just go a little flat at the north and south poles so the earth is actually a flattened sphere or a joint Different world views. Because the Earth is round, we can only see half of it at one time. This half is called a hemisphere, which means a half of a sphere. There is always two hemispheres. The half that you see and the other half that you don't see. Two hemispheres placed together always make a complete sphere. If this was a hemisphere and this was a hemisphere, put it together, which will make a sphere. The north and south. The equator is an imaginary line drawn around the middle of the earth, like this. The earth, so the earth's equator separates into two hemispheres the northern and the southern hemisphere. Most of the Earth's land is the northern hemisphere. Europe and North America are the only continents that is entirely in the northern hemisphere. Australia and Antarctica, however, are the only continents that lie ent entirely in the southern hemisphere. The east and west hemispheres. The Earth can also be divided among two other imaginary lines, the prime meridian and the prime meridian and the equator. Both run to divide the northern hemisphere, the northern and southern hemisphere, or the western and eastern hemisphere. They run opposite of each other between the North and South Poles. This creates the Eastern and Western Hemispheres. It continues in the Eastern Hemisphere that, are, that is traditionally called the Old World. What? While those in the Western Hemisphere in the Americas were named in the new world by the Europe, Europeans who explored them in the 15th century. You don't get what a what the prime meridian is? Neither do you get what the northern and the southern hemisphere is? Well, it's okay. Let me 
tell you. Come on. Here's the experiment of the day. Here's two apples. Pretend that these, these represent Earth. I'm gonna cut them to the prime meridian, which is the west and eastern, or the equator, which divides, which only divides it into the northern and the northern and southern. Let me show you. This one will be divided to the northern and southern. Let me show you what the equator might be like. And I'm done. Ready? You see this line? You see it? Come on. That will represent the equator. Now, let's cut it into the northern and southern hemisphere. Whoa. <laughs> see this? This would be the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. Remember, they're called hemisphere because they are the half of a sphere. Now, since we cut the northern and southern hemisphere, let's cut it to the prime meridian. All right. See this? This was cut this was cut to the eastern and the western hemisphere. The full earth or the hemispheres. You see this? You see this line going down all the way around. And the equator, it used to go this way. Now it's going this way. Remember the equator, we did this, and the prime meridian, we're doing this. That, this line is called the prime meridian. So that's it for the people who don't get it. What? You get it now? That's awesome. Hope you loved learning about Earth and hope you liked it too. See you next time. Bye. Make sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe. And hit that notification bell if you want to get updated when a new video is out. See you later. Bye.